Hey everyone, welcome back to the linear regression model series. In this video, we are going to plot our results to see how well did we perform, how well did we create the model, and then we are going to introduce some noise and see how the noise affects the overall accuracy. So let's get started. So here we have our code from our previous video. First, we are importing all the libraries, and then we have the data generation. Uh, actually, I should write some comments here as well, later on maybe. And then we are plotting it out, and then we are just reshaping it because this is something that is required. Then we split the data into training and testing. And then we apply the linear model, uh, the linear regression model, uh, we fit it. And once we have that, we find the coefficients and the intercept. And at the end of the day, we get the accuracy of our model. So all of this is good, but we did not actually plot the data and the accuracy after testing it out. So what we can do is first we can plot it out. And uh, but the thing is, it will be a line overlapping each other because it's 100 percent accurate. So what we will do is we will generate some noise like we did before we will just remove this and this will introduce some noise so if i only have 10 uh, values and if i run this the data the accuracy will be very bad actually not so much it's 30. <laughs> uh, let me run it again it, i think it's a lucky guess and there you go so now it's the accuracy is 45 percent which is very bad and if I run it again, uh, there you go. And now it's 85. So it fluctuates quite a bit and there's no guarantee that you are going to get the correct values. So uh, if, if I, let's say put five here, then it will even get worse. So the less data we have, the worse accuracy we are going to get. So uh, right now it's saying not available. Why is that? Let's run it again. It's, it's even unable to find uh, the correct values. So let's put, let's say, 50. So 50 is a good number, and you can see that we have, uh, uh, where is it? Okay, we have 99% accuracy, and the value is 31, which is supposed to be 32, and the value is 1.82, which is supposed to be 1.80. So this is very good. It's very close. So if we put 100, let's say, and... If we run that so now we have a 99.8 accuracy so now it's almost 1.80 and this is almost 32 so the more data we have the better accuracy we will get but for now to keep it simple let's just put uh, 15 let's put 20 values okay and let's run it so this is fairly linear and you can see we are getting 97% accuracy, which is not that bad. So let's plot this value. And after uh, we actually get the uh, coefficient and the intercept, we can simply plot these values. Now, what we can do is we are going to test these values by plotting. And we will write that our x is pretty much the same that we have before. But it has been reshaped. So we are going to bring it back to the normal shape so that we can use it uh, properly. So we will write here x dot reshape. And then we are going to write 1 and minus 1 this time. And we will take the 0th element. And this will reshape it back to normal. And then our m is basically the model dot coefficient. But as you see here, we have two brackets. So we have to remove these brackets. So we will write 0 and 0. It will take the first element of the first element. And then we have to take the C. And as you can see, the C is the intercept. So we will take the intercept here. And then we have to take, because there is only one bracket, we can just put the 0th element of this. And that should be fine. And now we need to generate our predicted values. So this is the new y, okay? So this y will be basically, it will be the same equation as before. This is our equation. 
let me just copy that and of course there will be no randomization and over here instead of 1.8 we are going to put m and instead of 32 we are going to put c okay and uh, yeah that should be it and then we can simply plot this with a different color so let's plot that and let's change this to blue and should we put a dot or let, let's keep it same and here we will remove the show so that it shows both of them together on the same plot so if we run this now it will do all the calculation and there we go so now you can see that we have a 96 percent accuracy and our coefficient is 30 um, sorry our coefficient is 1.85 which should be 1.80 and our intercept is 31.6 which should be 32 so it is very close and you can see that this is the blue line that is the actual value and the red is uh, sorry the red is the actual value and the blue is the predicted value so if we zoom in uh, let's go here so oh no not like that like this so this blue should uh, this red is the actual value and this blue is the predicted value so the the space in between is the error uh, if you remember the previous video we talked about error quite a bit so this is that error so this is the plot that we are getting and now if we go back now we can play with these values so let's say we put only 10 values okay and then we run it so now you can see the gap between them is higher so the the model itself that's why you can see it's only 87 percent accurate and then if we put let's say five values five was giving an error let's put seven so if we put seven values now you can see it's even worse and it's not predicting that well so if you saw the previous video and uh, you know that at the back end it's basically running mean squared error and it's trying to minimize these errors and get us the best fit line so this is what is happening uh, at the back end so if we put let's say a hundred here now you will see that even with uh, oh, even with the noise we are still getting a very good accuracy so you can see that the values are very close to each other and our model is predicting very well so this means that if i wanted to predict any new value of my temperature given that i have uh, the celsius i can simply get fahrenheit so this is my intercept and this is my coefficient that i will use to get this value and i can say that my model is 99.88 percent accurate so this is basically a very simple example of how you can uh, generate a linear model uh, simply by using simple techniques and uh, th this data was not actually very interesting because we already knew the answer and we know what will be the output but in the upcoming videos we are going to use multiple linear regression and then over there we are going to use real world data that we get from a different website and we are going to use that to actually create a real world model and we can and we will see what kind of accuracy we can get from that so if you like the video and if you would like to see more give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one